Hello, welcome to this time English news service from Khurshid Global TV channel. Israeli aircraft strike Malton targets in the Gaza Strip and Palestinian launched dozens of mortar bombs and rockets from the enclave into Israel on Saturday, the Israeli military said. There were no reports of serious casualties on either side of the border in the exchange of fire, in the exchange of fire which followed a familiar pattern of retaliatory attacks by the Israeli military and Gaza's armed groups. Gaza militants often vacate potential target sites during flare-ups and Israelis who live in villages and towns near the border have reinforced rooms in their homes and rocket sirens that alert of an incoming attack. Israel's Iron Doom rocket interceptor system often shoots down Gaza projectiles. The military said it struck more than 40 targets within several militant compounds belonging to Hamas. The Islamic group that rules Gaza in what it described as one of its widest operations since the 2014 Israel-Gaza war. A week of bombings on political rallies has shattered the relative peace of Pakistan's general election campaign, culminating in a devastating suicide attack that killed at least 102 people at a rally in the southwest Baluchistan province. A campaigning intensifies as campaigning intensifies, attacks in different areas of the country have a stock fear of more violence. In the Muslim country of 208 million, where political rallies can draw tens of thousands of people. The July 25 election features dozens of parties with two main contenders, ex-cricket hero Imran Khan, Pakistan's Tahrik and Saf, and the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, which was to win a second term despite the jailing of founder ex-Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif on a corruption conviction. Islamic State claimed responsibility for Friday night suicide bombing at a rally for the Balochistan Awami Party BAP. Among the under 30 killed was the party's provincial assembly candidate Raj Raisani. Heavy rain and thunderstorm are wreaking havoc across China with floods along major rivers destroying bridges, blocking roads and railways and forcing thousands of residents to evacuate, a state media reported on Saturday. A state television said 241 rivers in 24 provinces had flooded in the last few days, causing direct economic losses of 3.87 billion US dollars. Weather authorities are forecasting more downpours throughout the country on Saturday, which floods and landslides expected in the southwestern province of Sichuan. Every rain and flooding hit much of China this time every year often with hundreds killed, but the number of casualties this year has been relatively low, at least in the early summer, with one province reporting 15 dead and another three wounded. Former Marxist FARC rebel commanders in Colombia, headed by their leader Rodrigo Londono, appeared before a tribunal on Friday that will try crimes allegedly committed during their country's five-decade civil war. The Special Jurisdiction for Peace GEP Tribunal, founded under a 2016 peace deal between the government and revolutionary armed forces of Colombia, FARC, will try cases considered representative of the war's violence. The cases are based on investigations by authorities and accusations from victims. The GEP, which is set to run for at least 15 years, aims to heal wounds left by the conflict and allow victims to hear the truth about loved ones as well as receive compensation from the FARC, including stolen land and property. That was all from English News Service of Hushrit Global TV channel. Thank you for watching us. Wish you a good night. Bye.